The angel of the Lord announced unto Mary, and she conceived by the Holy Ghost. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Behold the handmaid of the Lord. Be it unto me according to thy word. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. And the word was made flesh. And dwelt among us. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Pray for us, O Holy Mother of God, that we may be made worthy of the promises of Christ. Let us pray. We beseech thee, O Lord, pour thy grace into our hearts, that as we have known the incarnation of thy Son, Jesus Christ, by the message of an angel, so by his cross and passion we may be brought unto the glory of his resurrection. Through the same Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. shall show forth thy praise. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Alleluia. The mercy of the Lord is everlasting. O come, let us adore him. O come, let us sing unto the Lord. Let us heartily rejoice in the strength of our salvation. Let us come before his presence with thanksgiving, and show ourselves glad in him with psalms. For the Lord is a great God, and a great King above all gods. In his hand are all the corners of the earth, and the strength of the hills is his also. The sea is his, and he made it, and his hands prepared the dry land. O come, let us worship and fall down, and kneel before the Lord our Maker. For he is the Lord our God, and we are the people of his pasture and the sheep of his hand. O worship the Lord in the beauty of holiness, let the whole earth stand in awe of him, for he cometh, for he cometh to judge the earth, and with righteousness to judge the world, and the peoples with his truth. The mercy of the Lord is everlasting. O oh, come, let us adore him. That portion of the Psalter appointed for this day begins on page 717, beginning with Psalm 90. Lord, you have been our refuge from one generation to another. Before the mountains were brought forth or the land and the earth were born. From age to age, you are God. You turn us back to the dust and say, go back, O child of earth. For a thousand years in your sight are like yesterday when it is past, and like a watch in the night. You sweep us away like a dream. We fade away suddenly like the grass. In the morning it is green and flourishes. In the evening it is dried up and withered. For we consume away in your displeasure. We are afraid because of your wrathful indignation. Our iniquities you have set before you, and our secret sins in the light of your countenance. When you are angry, all our days are gone. We bring our years to an end like the span of our life is 70 years, perhaps in strength even 80. Yet the sum of them is but labor and sorrow, for they pass away quickly and we are gone. Who regards the power of your wrath? Who rightly fears your indignation? So teach us to number our days, that we may apply our hearts to wisdom. Return, O Lord, how long will you tarry? Be gracious to your servant. Satisfy us by your loving kindness in the morning. So shall we rejoice and be glad all the days of our life. Make us glad by the measure of the days that you afflicted us and the years in which we suffered adversity. Show your servants your works 
and your splendor to their children. May the graciousness of the Lord our God be upon us. Prosper the work of our hands, prosper our handiwork. He who dwells in the shelter of the Most High abides under the shadow of the Almighty. He shall say to the Lord, you are my refuge and my stronghold, my God in whom I put my trust. He shall deliver you from the snare of the hunter and from the deadly pestilence. He shall cover you with his pinions and you shall find refuge under his wings. His faithfulness shall be a shield and buckler. You shall not be afraid of any terror by night, nor of the arrow that flies by day, of the plague that stalks in the darkness, nor of the sickness that lays waste at midday. A thousand shall fall at your side and ten thousand at your right hand, but it shall not come near you. Your eyes have only to behold to see the reward of the wicked. Because you have made the Lord your refuge and the Most High your habitation. There shall no evil happen to you, neither shall any plague come near your dwelling. For he shall give his angels charge over you to keep you in all your ways. They shall bear you in their hands, lest you dash your foot against a stone. You shall tread upon the lion and adder you shall trample the young lion and the serpent under your feet. Because he is bound to me in love, therefore will I deliver him. I will protect him because he knows my name. He shall call upon me and I will answer him. I am with him in trouble. I will rescue him and bring him to honor. With long life will I satisfy him and show him my salvation. It is a good thing to give thanks to the Lord and to sing praises to your name, O Most High. To tell of your loving kindness early in the morning and of your faithfulness in the night season. On the psaltery and on the lyre and to the melody of the harp. For you have made me glad by your acts, O Lord, and I shout for joy because of the works of your hands. Lord, how great are your works. Your thoughts are very deep. The dullard does not know, nor does the fool understand, that though the wicked grow like weeds and all the workers of iniquity flourish, they flourish only to be destroyed forever. But you, O Lord, are exalted forevermore. For lo, your enemies, O Lord, lo, your enemies shall perish, and all the workers of iniquity shall be scattered. But my horn you have exalted like the horns of wild bulls. I am anointed with fresh oil. My eyes also gloat over my enemies, and my ears rejoice to hear the doom of the wicked who rise up against me. The righteous shall flourish like a palm tree. They shall spread abroad like a cedar of Lebanon. Those who are planted in the house of the Lord shall flourish in the courts of our God. They shall still bear fruit in an old age. They shall be green and succulent. That they may show how upright the Lord is, my rock in whom there is no fault. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Here beginneth the twelfth chapter of the book of Numbers. Miriam and Aaron spoke against Moses because of the Cushite woman whom he had married, for he had married a Cushite woman. And they said, Has the Lord indeed spoken only through Moses? Has he not spoken through us also? And the Lord heard it. Now the man Moses was very meek, more than all men that were on the face of the earth. And suddenly the Lord said to Moses and to Aaron and Miriam, Come out, you three, to the tent of meeting. And the three of them came out. And the Lord came down in a pillar of cloud and stood at the door of the tent and called Aaron and Miriam. And they both came forward. And he said, Hear my words. If there is a prophet among you, 
I, the Lord, make myself known to him in a vision. I speak with him in a dream. Not so with my servant Moses. He is entrusted with all my house. With him I speak mouth to mouth, clearly, and not in dark speech. And he beholds the form of the Lord. Why then were you not afraid to speak against my servant Moses? And the anger of the Lord was kindled against them, and he departed. And when the cloud removed from over the tent, behold, Miriam was leprous, as white as snow. And Aaron turned towards Miriam, and behold, she was leprous. And Aaron said to Moses, O oh my Lord, do not punish us, because we have done foolishly and have sinned. Let her not be as one dead, of whom the flesh is half consumed, when he comes out of his mother's womb. And Moses cried to the Lord, Heal her, O God, I beseech you. But the Lord said to Moses, If her father had but spit in her face, she should not be shamed. Should she not be shamed seven days? Let her be shut up outside the camp seven days, and after that she may be brought in again. So Miriam was shut up outside the camp seven days, and the people did not set out on the march till Miriam was brought in again. After that, the people set out from Hazaroth and encamped in the wilderness of Paran. Here endeth the reading. Surely it is God who saves me. I will trust in him and not be afraid. For the Lord is my stronghold and my sure defense, and he will be my savior. Therefore you shall draw water with rejoicing from the springs of salvation. And on that day you shall say, give thanks to the Lord and call upon his name. Make his deeds known among the peoples. See that they remember that his name is exalted. Sing the praises of the Lord, for he has done great things. And this is known in all the world. Cry aloud, inhabitants of Zion, ring out your joy, for the Great One in the midst of you is the Holy One of Israel. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Here beginneth the 10th verse of the 18th chapter of the Gospel according to St. Matthew. Jesus said to the disciples, See that you do not despise one of these little ones. For I tell you that in heaven their angels always behold the face of my Father who is in heaven. What do you think? If a man has a hundred sheep and one of them has gone astray, does he not leave the ninety-nine on the mountains? and go in search of the one that went astray? And if he finds it, truly I say to you, he rejoices over it more than over the ninety-nine that never went astray. So it is not the will of my Father who is in heaven that one of these little ones should perish. If your brother sins against you, go and tell him his fault between you and him alone. If he listens to you, you have gained your brother. But if he does not listen, Take one or two others along with you, that every word may be confirmed by the evidence of two or three witnesses. If he refuses to listen to them, tell it to the church. And if he refuses to listen even to the church, let him be to you as a Gentile and a tax collector. Truly I say to you, whatever you bind on earth shall be bound in heaven, and whatever you loose on earth shall be loosed in heaven. Again I say to you, if two of you agree on earth about anything they ask, it will be done for them by my Father in heaven. For where two or three are gathered in my name, there am I in the midst of them. Here endeth the reading. Blessed be the Lord God of Israel. For he hath visited and redeemed his people and hath raised up a mighty salvation for us in the house of his servant David, as he spake by the mouth of his holy prophets, which have been since the world began, that we should be saved from our enemies and from the hand of all that hate us, to perform the mercy promised to our forefathers and to remember his holy covenant, 
to perform the oath which he sware to our forefather Abraham that he would give us, that we, being delivered out of the hand of our enemies, might serve him without fear, in holiness and righteousness before him all the days of our life. And thou, child, shalt be called the prophet of the highest, for thou shalt go before the face of the Lord to prepare his ways, to give knowledge of salvation unto his people for the remission of their sins, through the tender mercy of our God, whereby the day spring from on high hath visited us, to give light to them that sit in darkness and in the shadow of death, and to guide our feet into the way of peace. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, and in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Ghost, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, dead, and buried. He descended into hell. The third day he rose again from the dead. He ascended into heaven, and sitteth on the right hand of God the Father Almighty. From thence he shall come to judge the quick and the dead. I believe in the Holy Ghost, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and the life everlasting. Amen. Lord, hear our prayer. And let our cry come unto thee. Let us pray. O Lord, save thy people and bless thine heritage. Govern them and lift them up forever. Day by day we magnify thee. And we worship thy name ever, world without end. Vouchsafe, O Lord, to keep us this day without sin. O Lord, have mercy upon us, have mercy upon us. O Lord, let thy mercy be upon us. As our trust is in thee, Lord, in thee have I trusted. Let me never be confounded. O God, who art the author of peace and lover of concord, in knowledge of whom standeth our eternal life, whose service is perfect freedom, defend us, thy humble servants, in all assaults of our enemies, that we, surely trusting in thy defense, may not fear the power of any adversaries, through the might of Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. O Lord, our Heavenly Father, almighty and everlasting God, who has safely brought us to the beginning of this day, defend us in the same with thy mighty power, and grant that this day we fall into no sin, neither run into any kind of danger, but that we, being ordered by thy governance, may do always what is righteous in thy sight, through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the fellowship of the Holy Ghost be with us all the more. Amen.
Blessed be God, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Blessed be his kingdom, now and forever. Amen. Almighty God, unto whom all hearts are open, all desires known, and from whom no secrets are hid, cleanse the thoughts of our hearts by the inspiration of thy Holy Spirit, that we may perfectly love thee and worthily magnify thy holy name through Christ our Lord. Amen. Lord, have mercy upon us. Christ, have mercy upon us. Lord, have mercy upon us. The Lord be with you. And with thy spirit. Let us pray. Almighty and everlasting God, who didst enkindle the flame of thy love in the heart of thy holy martyr, Bernard Marzecki, grant to us, thy humble servants, a like faith and power of love, that we who rejoice in his triumph may profit by his example. Through Jesus Christ our Lord, who liveth and reigneth with thee in the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. reading from the Revelation to John. Then one of the elders addressed me, saying, Who are these clothed in white robes, and whence have they come? I said to him, Sir, you know. And he said to me, These are they who have come out of the great tribulation. They have washed their robes and made them white in the blood of the Lamb. Therefore are they before the throne of God, and serve him day and night within his temple. And he who sits upon the throne will shelter them with his presence. They shall hunger no more, neither thirst any more. The sun shall not strike them, nor any scorching heat. For the lamb in the midst of the throne will be their shepherd, and he will guide them to springs of living water. And God will wipe away every tear from their eyes. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The Lord be with you. And with thy spirit. The Holy Gospel of our Lord Jesus Christ, according to St. Luke. Glory to thee, O Lord. Jesus said, Nothing is covered up that will not be revealed, or hidden that will not be known. Therefore, whatever you have said in the dark shall be heard in the light, and what you have whispered in private rooms shall be proclaimed upon the housetops. I tell you, my friends, do not fear those who kill the body, and after that have no more that they can do. But I warn you whom to fear. Fear him who, after he has killed, has power to cast into hell. Yes, I tell you, fear him. Are not five sparrows sold for two pennies, and not one of them is forgotten before God? Why, even the hairs of your head are all numbered. Fear not. You are of more value than many sparrows. And I tell you, everyone who acknowledges me before men, the Son of Man also will acknowledge before the angels of God. But he who denies me before men will be denied before the angels of God. And everyone who speaks a word against the Son of Man will be forgiven. But he who blasphemes against the Holy Spirit will not be forgiven. And when they bring you before the synagogues and the rulers and the authorities, do not be anxious how or what you are to answer or what you are to say, for the Holy Spirit will teach you in that very hour what you ought to say. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise be to you, Christ. In the name of God, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Ghost. Amen. Today we are remembering Bernard Maizecki, 
Born in Portuguese East Africa, Bernard Maizecki went to work in Cape Town, and there he was converted to the Christian faith by the Cowley Fathers, the Society of St. John the Evangelist. He then gave his life as a translator and evangelist among the Mashona in what is present-day Zimbabwe. He was murdered on this day in 1896 in a tribal uprising and is revered throughout Central Africa as a witness to the gospel of Christ. The site of his martyrdom has become an important place of pilgrimage for many Africans. And this is from Mashonaland Martyr by Jean Ferrand. 14 June 1896 was a Sunday, a crisp, clear day of the Mashonaland winter. Bernard Maizecki was troubled. Mutwa, his wife, now carried their child in her womb. Had he been right to disobey the orders of the priest in Umtali, who had said that all catechists and teachers were to seek safety at Pentalunga? The priest had heard rumors that disturbed him and feared that any Africans who were associated with the Europeans would be killed. In his reply, Bernard had written, Chief Manguendes, people are suffering. The bishop has put me here and told me to remain. Until the bishop returns, here I must stay. I cannot leave my people now in a time of such darkness. As the hours passed, Bernard's wife became increasingly restless and kept saying that she had heard things when she visited Mount Mahopo. She had become almost hysterical when Bernard had cut down the Mukuti trees and cleared a small plot of ground for growing wheat. She told him the trees were a sacred grove, the abode of the spirits of Chief Mangwende's ancestors. Bernard went out to the newly cut stumps of the trees and thinking it would comfort her, cut a cross in each one saying, there, I cut the cross. The cross makes us safe from all spirits and sorcerers. But it made no difference to Mutwa, who begged him to flee, saying that he was in great danger. Two days later, at about midnight, there came a loud knocking at the hut door. It is Ziutu, Ziute, Mangwende's son, a voice shouted, Open this door. Mangwende has been killed. European troopers came to the village and shot him. They have beaten the people and driven away our cattle and goats. Startled and incredulous, Bernard opened the door. Ziute and another man, Sarijgo, came in. Bernard protested that they were lying or he would have heard news of it before. As he spoke, the two men knocked him off balance and dragged him outside the hut, where a third man was waiting, armed with a spear. While the two men held him down, he drove the spear into Bernard's side. Believing him to be dead, the attackers fled into the night. As soon as Mutwa was certain they had gone, she crept out of the hut searching for her husband in the darkness. Eventually, she and another woman found Bernard by the water spring where he was trying to wash his wound. He pleaded with the women to leave him to flee and hide themselves. Your uncles have attacked me and I am dying, he said to Mutwa. I wish you to be baptized and the child in your womb. Do not think that because your uncles have killed me, the work of the priests and teachers is ended. No, when I am dead, there will come many more priests, and one day all your people will be Christian. Bernard became weak and breathless. Together, the two women stole down the hill to the hut to get food and blankets for him. As they began to climb the slope again, they were almost blinded by a great and brilliant white light. The whole of the hillside was lit up and there was a noise like many wings of great birds. The noise came lower and lower, and as they crouched on the ground covering their eyes, the women saw through their fingers that in the center of the light where Bernard lay, there was a strange red glow. After a long time, the noise ceased. The light disappeared, but so had Bernard. They crept up the hillside to the rock above the spring. Bernard had gone. They never saw him again, and his body was never found. And there ends the reading. Bernard, pray for us.
I bid your prayers for Christ's Holy Catholic Church throughout the world, for her bishops and clergy, especially Francis, Bishop of Rome and Pope, Bartholomew, Patriarch of Constantinople, Justin, Archbishop of Canterbury, Gregory, our primate, Folio, Archbishop, Ryan, our bishop, Keith, his assistant, Joseph, our centurion, Christopher, John, Richard, and Ivor, priests of this parish, for the Society of the Holy Cross, for this gathering, and for all the faithful in Christ, pray for the Church. Lord, in thy mercy, hear our prayer. I bid your prayers for the leaders of the nations, especially Donald, our president, Greg, our governor, Eric, our mayor, our Congress, state legislature, and city council, the officers of our courts, the armed forces of our country, and all those in harm's way, especially Samantha and James, for peace and goodwill among nations, and for the well-being of all peoples, pray for justice and peace. Lord, in thy mercy, hear our prayer. I bid your prayers for the poor, the hungry, the oppressed, those in prison, and those who are sick, for Mary Elizabeth, Betty, Gail, Father Scott, Rexanne, Jacqueline, Marge, Betty, William, Susan, Babe, Grace, Dale, Father Phelps, Nick, and Laura. Pray for those in any need or trouble. Lord, in thy mercy, hear our prayer. I bid your prayers for all who have not heard the saving gospel of Christ, for those who seek after God and those who desire a deeper knowledge with him, of him. Pray that they may find and be found by him. Lord, in thy mercy, hear our prayer. I bid your prayers for the departed, especially for Edward and Ernest, priests of the Society of the Holy Cross. Pray for those who have died. Lord, in thy mercy, hear our prayer. I bid your prayers for Jack and Laura and David, Dixie and Ava in thanksgiving for their life with us in our parish family. Lord, in thy mercy, hear our prayer. I bid your prayers for all women with child and the children they carry, especially Heather. Lord, in thy mercy, hear our prayer. Praise God for our blessed Lady Mary, the ever virgin mother of God, for our patron Matthias, the apostle and martyr, for, for Bernard Maisecki, catechist and martyr, whose festival we keep this day, and for those in every generation in whom Christ has been honored. Pray that we may have grace to glorify Christ in our own day. Lord, in thy mercy, hear our prayer. Almighty God, who has created man in thine own image, grant us grace fearlessly to contend against evil and to make no peace with oppression, and that we may reverently use our freedom Help us to employ it in the maintenance of justice among men and nations, to the glory of thy holy name, through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. O most mighty and merciful God, in this time of grievous sickness, we flee unto thee for succor. Deliver us, we beseech thee, from our peril. Give strength and skill to all those who minister to the sick. Prosper the means made use of for their cure. And grant that perceiving how frail and uncertain our life is, we may apply our hearts unto that heavenly wisdom which leadeth to eternal life through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Let us humbly confess our sins unto Almighty God. Most merciful God, we confess that we have sinned against thee in thought, word, and deed by what we have done and by what we have left undone. We have not loved thee with our whole heart. We have not loved our neighbors as ourselves. We are truly sorry and we humbly repent. For the sake of thy Son, Jesus Christ, have mercy upon us and forgive us, that we may delight in thy will and walk in thy ways to the glory of thy name. Amen. Almighty God, our Heavenly Father, who of his great mercy hath promised forgiveness of sins to all those who with hearty repentance and true faith turn unto him. Have mercy upon you, pardon and deliver you from all your sins, confirm and strengthen you in all goodness, and bring you to everlasting life through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. The peace of the Lord be always with you.
and with thy spirit. Offer to God a sacrifice of thanksgiving, and make good thy vows unto the Most High. this water be blessed in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ, and may the mingling of this wine be assigned to us the wonderful and sacred mystery given for our salvation. Blessed art thou, Lord God, King of all creation, through thy goodness we have this bread to offer which earth has given and human hands have made. It will become for us the bread of heaven. Blessed be God forever. Blessed art thou, Lord God, King of all creation. Through thy goodness we have this wine to offer, fruit of the vine and work of human hands. It will become for us the cup of salvation. Blessed be God forever. Come now, Holy Spirit, and receive this sacrifice that it may be a sweet-smelling savor in thy sight. O Lord, I have loved the habitation of thy house and the place that honor dwelleth. Wash my hands in this and see, O Lord, that I make one procession around thy altar, singing aloud a song of thanksgiving and recounting all thy wonderful deeds. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Ghost, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Holy sacrifice for Mass this day is offered to the honor and glory of Almighty God in thanksgiving for the gift of salvation to His Son. It is offered on behalf of all the faithful in Christ, both the quick and the dead, especially this day in thanksgiving for the life and ministry and sacrifice of His servant Bernard Marzetti, begging His intercession for us, for those who call upon His name, and for all those particular intentions which we this day bring before the throne of grace. Pray, brothers and sisters, that this my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God the Father Almighty. May the Lord receive the sacrifice of thy hands to the praise and glory of his name, both to our benefit and that of all his holy church. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with thy spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up unto the Lord. Let us give thanks unto our Lord God. It is meet and right so to do. It is very meet, right in our bounden duty, that we should at all times and in all places give thanks unto thee, O Lord, Holy Father, almighty, everlasting God, through Jesus Christ our Lord, who for our sins was lifted high upon the cross, that he might draw the whole world to himself, who by his suffering and death became the author of eternal salvation for all who put their trust in him. Therefore, with angels and archangels and with all the company of heaven, we laud and magnify thy glorious name, evermore praising thee and saying, Holy, 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 Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of thy glory. Glory be to thee, O Lord most high. Blessed is he that cometh in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. All glory be to thee, O Lord our God, for that thou didst create heaven and earth, and didst make us in thine own image, and of thy tender mercy didst give thine only Son, Jesus Christ, to take our nature upon him, and to suffer death upon the cross for our redemption. He made there a full and perfect sacrifice for the whole world, and did institute, and in his holy gospel command us to continue a perpetual memory of that his precious death and sacrifice until his coming again. 
For in the night in which he was betrayed, he took bread. And when he had given thanks to thee, he brake it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take, eat, this is my body which is given for you. Do this in remembrance of me. Likewise, after supper, he took the cup, and when he had given thanks, he gave it to them, saying, Drink ye all of this, for this is my blood of the New Testament, which is shed for you and for many for the remission of sins. Do this as oft as ye shall drink it, in remembrance of me. Wherefore, O Lord and Heavenly Father, we, thy people, do celebrate and make with these thy holy gifts, which we now offer unto thee, the memorial thy Son hath commanded us to make, having in remembrance his blessed passion and precious death, his mighty resurrection and glorious ascension, and looking for his coming again with power and great glory. And we most humbly beseech thee, O merciful Father, to hear us, and with thy word and Holy Spirit to bless, and sanctify these gifts of bread and wine, that they may be unto us the body and blood of thy dearly beloved Son, Jesus Christ. And we earnestly desire thy fatherly goodness to accept this our sacrifice of praise and thanksgiving, whereby we offer and present unto thee, O Lord, ourselves, our souls and bodies. Grant, we beseech thee, that all who partake of this holy communion may worthily receive the most precious body and blood of thy Son, Jesus Christ, and be filled with thy grace and heavenly benediction, and also that we and all thy whole church may be made one body with him, that he may dwell in us and we in him. Remember, Lord, also the souls of thy servants and handmaidens, which are gone before us with the mark of faith and rest in the sleep of peace. We beseech thee, O Lord, that unto them and unto all such as rest in Christ, that thou wilt grant a place of refreshing, of light, and of peace. To us sinners also, thy servants who hope in the multitude of thy mercies, vouchsafe to grant some portion and fellowship with blessed Mary, the ever-Virgin Mother of our Lord and God, Jesus Christ, with Joseph, her most chaste spouse, with our patron Matthias, the apostle and martyr, with Bernard Maiseki, whom we remember this day, and with all thy saints, within whose fellowship we beseech thee to admit us, not weighing our merits, but pardoning our offenses. Through the same Jesus Christ, our Lord. By whom and with whom and in whom, in the unity of the Holy Ghost, all honor and glory be unto thee, O Father Almighty, world without end. Amen. And now, as our Savior Christ hath taught us, we are bold to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil, for thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever and ever. Amen. Hallelujah. Christ, our Passover, is sacrificed for us. Therefore, let us keep the feast. Hallelujah. O Lamb of God that takest away the sins of the world, have mercy upon us. O Lamb of God, that takest away the sins of the world. Have mercy upon us. O Lamb of God, that takest away the sins of the world. Grant us thy peace. We do not presume to come to this thy table, O merciful Lord, trusting in our own righteousness, but in thy manifold and great mercies. We are not worthy so much as to gather up the crumbs under thy table, but thou art the same Lord whose property is always to have mercy. Grant us, therefore, gracious Lord, 
so to eat the flesh of thy dear Son, Jesus Christ, and to drink his blood, that we may evermore dwell in him, and he in us. Amen. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him that taketh away the sins of the world. Lord, I am not worthy that thou shouldst come under my roof, but speak the word only, and my soul shall be healed. Lord, I am not worthy that thou shouldst come under my roof, but speak the word only, and my soul shall be healed. Body of Christ. On behalf of those online with us this day, let us pray. In union, dear Lord, with the faithful at every altar of thy church, where thy blessed body and blood are being offered to the Father, I desire to offer thee praise and thanksgiving. I believe that thou art truly present in the Holy Sacrament, and since I cannot now receive thee sacramentally, I beseech thee to come spiritually into my heart. I unite myself unto thee and embrace thee with all the affections of my soul. Let me never be separated from thee. Let me live and die in thy love. Amen. Come, Lord Jesus, dwell in thy servant in the fullness of thy strength, in the perfection of thy ways and in the, and in the holiness of thy spirit, and rule over every hostile power in the might of thy spirit and to the glory of thy Father. Amen. May the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ preserve my body and soul into everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. Almighty and ever-living God, we most heartily thank Thee for that Thou dost feed us in these holy mysteries with the spiritual food of the most precious body and blood of Thy Son, our Savior, Jesus Christ and dost assure us thereby of thy favor and goodness towards us, and that we are very members in corporates in the mystical body of thy Son, the blessed company of all faithful people, and are also heirs through hope of thy everlasting kingdom. And we humbly beseech thee, O Heavenly Father, so to assist us with thy grace, that we may continue in that holy fellowship and do all such good works as thou hast prepared for us to walk in. Through Jesus Christ our Lord, to whom with thee and the Holy Ghost be all honor and glory, world without end. Amen.
The Lord be with you. And with thy spirit. May the prayers of Our Lady Mary, the Mother of God, of our patron Matthias, the Apostle and Martyr, of Bernard Maizecki, whom we remember this day, and of all the saints, assist you on your journey to heaven. May Michael the Archangel and all the holy angels guard and protect you on your way. And the blessing of God Almighty, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Ghost, be amongst you and remain with you always. Amen. The Mass is ended. Let us go forth in the name of Christ. Thanks be to God.